everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix Diagnostic Policy Service high CPU usage in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to end Diagnostic Policy Service from Task Manager. To do this right click the Windows button then select Task Manager from the list of options. Now in here just scroll down until you find the Diagnostic Policy Service, right click it and then select the End Task option. After terminating the Diagnostic Policy Service, do not hesitate to check if the high CPU usage problem is resolved. Another useful solution is to update Windows 11. To do this press the Windows button, then select the Settings icon and afterwards on the left pane make sure to scroll down until you find the Windows Update section. After you click the Windows Update section, just make sure to head on the right side of the page and click on the blue Check for Updates button. Now Windows will try to scan for the best possible updates and install them on your PC. You can afterwards restart the PC and then check if the problem still persists. You can also run the SFC and DISM scans. To do this press the Windows button then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. In the command prompt window just type the following commands but press enter after each command. Now just wait because the scan can take some time and afterwards restart your PC. You can then check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to change the power plan settings. To do this press the Windows button then simply type edit power plan and then select it from the search results. In here just click on changed advanced power settings and then in the power options window just make sure to scroll down until you find the wireless adapter settings. Double click it to expand it. In here again double click the power saving mode to expand it and in here both on battery and plugged in make sure to click the drop down menus and then select maximum performance. Afterwards just press on apply and ok to save the changes. You can then check if the problem still persists. And lastly another great solution is to disable the service and delete the srudb.dat file. To do this press the windows button then simply type services.msc and select it from the search results. In here just scroll down until you find the diagnostic policy service and simply double click it to view its properties. Now just click on the stop button and afterwards press on ok to save the changes. Now we just have to prepare for the next step, so just close the Diagnostic Policy Service Properties and the Services window. Now just press the Windows plus R key to open a run window and then copy paste the following command from the description below. Now press on OK. Now simply locate the srudb.dat file, right click it and select the delete option. Afterwards restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. And that's it, plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.